Mr. Speaker, the, the member for Miku South was given the impression that the government of St. Lucia, under the leadership of the member for Cassius East, was, for whatever reason, delayed in authorizing the IMF to release a report. But a little quick search of the exact thing he was reading would say on the August 25th, 2023, the executive board of the International Monetary, F Monetary Fund concluded the 2023 Article 4 consultation. August 2023. But he comes and he says March the 7th. Obviously, it'll say March the 7th because they've just essentially reissued the statement that the board made. It says it's very clear, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, what's even more worrying is this is the second time we're going to have to apologize to the international financial institutions based on misinformation coming out of the member from Miku South. He is insulted the IFC before, and we had to apologize on his behalf. He's now going ahead and saying that the IMF is waiting for instructions from government to release information. They provide you the funding, Mr. Speaker. They don't need your consent to, to release the information. What they may ask you to clarify is certain data points, not whether or not they could release the information. And the other point with regards to the health and safety, health and security level, Mr. Speaker, we've made it very clear if we want better health outcomes for our citizens, the figure is 6% of GDP is what we need to get to. We are slowly climbing to that figure. So it's not simply about satisfying the requirements for a policy-based loan, which, Mr. Speaker, his signature is on the document. The policy-based loan is referring to and demonizing. He was the one who signed it in 2020. That's true. No. He was the one who signed it. No. I, I kid you not, Senior Minister. He signed the policy-based loan in 2020. Oh, okay. He was the one who signed it. But he stands there. But Mr. Speaker, I am new to politics. No, I am new. He said, um, he said I'm inexperienced. And I always had the impression that honorable people put themselves up for politics and for election. But for the United Workers Party, whether it is the leader of the opposition, the member of Michael South, or the defeated candidate in answer canaries, they have this, Mr. Speaker, this mission of spreading misinformation. But the right time will come, Mr. Speaker, where we'll be able to ask them the very same questions that they're asking us there, but it'll be in a different forum. Mr. Speaker, we've done everything we can based on what we inherited from the last administration. We, Mr. Speaker, and I say we, have worked very hard to correct the wrongs of the last administration. When we got into government, Mr. Speaker, the debt to GDP ratio as of December 2021 was in excess of 100 percent. Excess of 100 percent. Two and a half years later, the new Minister of Finance has tried his best to put this country on a sustainable path, and all he could do is ridicule it. Mr. Speaker, this is a very dangerous precedent, not for us in here who are educated and knowledgeable, but the average man on the street. We are destroying the very thing, Mr. Speaker, that we are trying to develop. I would like to caution the member from Miku South. If he wants to rule over a country, he needs to rule over a country that is functioning. If he continues on the trajectory he's going, there'll be nothing for him to rule over. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.